going on guys out here at Choice Lake Park just got off of work it's about it's almost 9 in the morning just finished a 16 hour shift and uh, just decided to come out here early and and check it out yesterday I came out here and it was it was really windy so I just left um, I don't want to risk flying in that kind of wind and uh, although my quad can handle it, it's not really an issue. Um, you know, the video from from the gimbal might be affected. It's like the gimbal has to counteract all that turbulence from the wind. So anyway, let's check it out. So I think I'm gonna walk down this trail and set up on that little hill right there. There's a few people walking around down there but not too many. I don't like flying when there's just a shit ton of people everywhere and too many people is uh, not good because you don't want to run into anyone and chop somebody's eye out or whatever but let me go back to the car and get the quad. I got some people following me up here. Let's see if I can see them sitting up there on the table. They walked from the other side of the park. They were going to their car and they saw me, so they decided to follow me and see where I was going. It's all right. It's not too windy. It's not nearly as windy as it was uh, yesterday. And um, so, let's see how it goes. battery all the way. I'm almost five minutes into the flight. It's 10.9 volts on the battery. I flipped the return to home switch and it's coming back. It was pretty damn high up there but I wanted to see how accurate it was with the return to home. It's a little it's a little off. Well let's see. It's kind of battling the wind right now so so I'm right here and it's kind of it's a little bit behind me. I probably should take control before it lands in the damn bushes.
So, all three batteries are done. Total flight time, 16 minutes and 57 seconds. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's terrible. That's pretty damn terrible. I'd like to get one flight with 16 minutes and 57 seconds. So, um, there's quite a few things I'm going to need to do to do that. Um, change the motors. Um, probably get a, a separate battery for the gimbal. Um, <laughs> probably get a bigger frame. I don't know. So, uh, that's... That's pretty much it guys for now. Choyas Lake, San Diego, California. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any quadcopter questions. If you're just getting into this hobby or if you're interested in getting into it and you don't know where to start. Or maybe if you are thinking about getting an AR drone. I have quite a few videos on that too. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Alright.